Tupac once said on his classic album, All Eyes On Me, on track, Only God Could Judge Me. Say it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind who wouldn't all the kill it here. And later in that verse, he said, like you let your thoughts don't get caught up in the mix because the media is full of dirty tricks. Only God can judge me. Today, we're going to talk about the harsh reality. Black men are dying, and it seems like no one cares until one of us is killed by law enforcement. In this episode, we're going to speak about two brothers, Andre and Roger Fortson, both innocent, both lost their lives, one to police violence and the other street violence. But only one of the stories made national news. It's time to address the violence that's taking our lives every day and start solving the problem that's killing us more often. We need to face the truth and it starts now. What's going on, yeah, man? Welcome or welcome back to the Broken Traditions Podcast with your host, Laron, aka Real Rap Ron. In this video, we're gonna talk about the death of two brothers, Roger Fortson, which you may have heard about, and Andre Fortson, his younger brother, which you may have not heard about. Two brothers who lost their lives, one to law enforcement, the other to street violence. And I wanna pose the question, why do one story receive national attention while the other one is barely noticed? How come there's a difference, right? This is two brothers, both lost their life. And before we get into all of it, man, I wanna give my condolences to the mom. I wanna give my condolences to the mom who lost two sons in three months. This is so heartbreaking. This is so heartbreaking, but I, I really don't have the words to put into perspective on what it is that you're going through, man. My heart definitely goes out to you. Um, you are my prayers, my thoughts and prayers. And, you know, I don't know how, but I really do hope you get through this. And whew, that's tough. It's really tough, man. It's really tough. I can't even imagine it. Before we get into this, here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you want to that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, please join the movement. And when you join the movement, you could follow Broken Traditions on what respectable platform you find me at. I greatly appreciate you guys. Also, if you want to help keep me independent, which is very important, I'm explaining later in the episode, you could join my memberships on Patreon and on YouTube starting at $4.99 a month. Greatly appreciate all the channel members, and I also greatly appreciate anybody who's considering joining. Why did one story get national attention to the point where the vice president of the country calls the mom to give her condolences, and the other story barely makes the news? It's not even the main story on the news block. I, I used a quote from Tupac. Tupac says, uh, they tell me it's the white man I should fear, but it's my own kind doing the killing here. When it comes to us killing us, it's one of the leading causes of death of black men at the ages of 14 to 35. One of the leading causes of death for black men. But it's barely spoken about. It barely make national news. It barely make local news. So these are two issues to me that deserve attention, right? A cop killing a black man deserve attention. But black men or black people losing their lives at a rate of 22 people a day deserves national attention, if not global, in my opinion. And I want to talk about the contrast of how situations are talked about between a cop killing a black man or a black person killing a black man. Because we talked about two brothers, same mother. Two brothers who lost their lives three months apart. One of the brothers who lost their life got a phone call for Vice President Kamala Harris. And now the other brother who lost his life on a something that happens more frequently wasn't even the main news block on a news channel. Let's talk about both of these men. You guys who don't know about Roger Fortson and who just forgot about Roger Fortson, Roger Fortson was a U.S. Airman in Florida who was gunned down by a deputy, right? So the story is bogus as hell while the deputy was called. A woman called saying that Roger Fortson was making noise or having an argument with somebody in his apartment and she walked by the apartment and heard um, Roger Fortson screaming at somebody in the apartment. So the reason why I said the story is bogus because when you see the police body cam footage, when he comes to the door, Roger Fortson apartment is the last door the last door so how's this woman walking past 
hearing something and that was the last door so she called us some bogus bullshit and roger fortson opened the door the police already had the gun drawn from what i understand if i'm not mistaken let me know in the comments roger fortson had a gun in his hand the cops had a gun in his hand and shot roger fortson killing him right so i don't think and i could be wrong let me know in the comments if a gun in your hand is a reason for getting shot by the police right like he had the gun down pointed down and the police officer made a split second decision to shoot roger fortson so roger fortson lost his life of course u.s airman black man shot by the police this story got crazy attention right like i said benjamin crump is representing him the funeral if i'm not mistaken was broadcasted on you know local tv national tv um vice president vice president kamala harris called the mother i think the pentagon put out a statement about this it was a real big story right you hear stories about police shooting somebody and you'd be like damn he was running from the cops damn he had a warrant damn he had a knife you know jacob blake they all, all the stories right you hear these stories about people losing their lives under law enforcement but this one had different because this one was about a u.s airman opening the door and the cop just fired and not to mention like i said the bogus story about <laughs> this lady heard him arguing walking past his door you see that his door is the last apartment unit now let's go to andre fortson right three months later Andre Fortson lost his life from some random street shooting, right? I think it was two people shooting at each other, knowing how the game goes. It's probably some goofy ass TikTok beef or some goofy ass Instagram beef. Somebody says something about each other on social media. They pull up and they start shooting at each other, right? And now, unfortunately, them shooting at each other, Andre Fortson the brother of Roger Fortson was hit in the crossfire. Innocent Boston had nothing to do with his beef. And unfortunately, that's where the story keeps going when it comes to uh, uh, getting shot, right? It's always somebody innocent. It's always a crash dummy pulling up to a spot, shooting up somebody's apartment or shooting up somebody's house or shooting up somebody's club. It's always an innocent Boston that's getting shot, right? 14 people got shot at a Juneteenth festival. Two black women lost their lives because some crash dummy was shooting up a Juneteenth festival. It's always the same thing. It's always the people who are innocent that get hit, that just minding their business. This young boy was just chilling outside and got shot. Had nothing to do with the beef, right? Nothing to do with the beef. Uh, innocent life was lost. Those stories happen time and time again. That story, Andre Fortson, the younger brother of Roger Fortson, who lost his life, barely made a dent in local media, let alone not even spoke about in national media. That's where the problem lies. You telling me there have to be certain ingredients in order for a black life to matter. That's what I'm saying. There has to be a certain ingredients. There has to be a certain amount of uh, shooting from a white police officer. We're going to talk about that later. From a white police officer for this to matter I, I i'm disgusted by that because what happened to andre fortson happens at a clip of 20 times a day 20 times a day across this nation where the way that andre fortson died he died in a way that is one of the leading leading causes of the way black men die in this country from the ages of 14 to 35 one of the leading causes one of the leading causes of death is these random shootings and like i said rightfully so the conversation what happened with roger forson should be loud but the conversation that's, that's not going on with andre forson should also be just as loud because andre forson's happen 20 times a day the media the media barely <laughs> talked about this right barely talked about this um i'm gonna go to social media first so before i bring up these names and before i say these people don't discuss it i do a query right if you guys don't know what a query is a query is a formula that you could kind of input information to gather information about something right so 
I did a query on certain social media pages to see how many times Andre Fortson was brought up. Not Roger Fortson, Andre Fortson. And the first person I want to speak about is Benjamin Crump. Andre Fortson was literally on stage with Benjamin Crump. And he didn't put nothing on his social media. So I would say this. He gave a statement to a news source about what happened. And he was quoted on a news source. But he didn't bring no attention to what happened to Andre Fortson on his social media. A boy, a young man, I should say, that was on stage with him. On stage. You, it's not like somebody you saw in passing. You sat down with his family. Sat down with his family. And you barely mentioned it. Well, you didn't mention your social media. You just gave a statement to a, a, a news source. That's all you did. Al Sharpton. Omar Query didn't pop up. Dr. Omar Johnson. Omar Query didn't pop up. Roland Martin. Omar Query didn't pop up. Now, one person that I want to talk about that popped up in my query that pissed me off, but I'm not pissed off at the person. I'm pissed off at the company he works for is Dr. Rashad Ritchie, right? Dr. Rush, Dr. Rashad Ritchie works for uh, TYT and he spoke about this situation, right? He gave his thoughts and opinions. He had a, a guest panelist come on and gave his opinions about this as well. And they spoke about it. But the reason why, Dr. Rashad Ritchie video pissed me off because the title, the title is misleading. And I'm not blaming Dr. Rashad Ritchie personally because I know he works for a company. And when I seen the video, Dr. Rashad Ritchie never mentioned what the title mentioned. And what the title mentioned was the police killed Andre Fortson. He didn't mention that in the video. He didn't say that. He spoke about what happened. He spoke about actually growing up in that area where Andre Fortson lost his life. He spoke about that. Not once he said that Andre Fortson was killed by police, but the title of the video states that Andre Fortson was killed by police. And that's why I say it's important to support independent media. You know, Rashad Ritchie works for TYT. True. TYT need a return on investment for Rashad Ritchie. So if Rashad Ritchie speaks about a black man getting killed by another black man, it's not going to get the clicks. But if the people who work at TYT understand the return on investment for Rashad Ritchie and put in a title that a black man was killed by police, excuse me, Roger Fortson, the airman who was killed by police, his brother now killed by police. If you put that in the title, even though the video never said that, right? I was pissed when I saw it. I was mad at Rashad Ritchie, but I said, you know what? Let me see this video. And when I seen that, I was pissed the fuck off that y'all did that. Media is full of dirty tricks. Y'all put that up there. The TYT team put that up there. That's disgusting. For clicks, you want to lie on this person's death for clicks. Man, <laughs> that pissed me off. I'm not mad at Rashad Ritchie because I don't think that's something that he did personally. I think that is people who work there realizing a black man who get killed by a black man is not worth nothing to them in the media. And they had to change the name of the title. Piss me off. But it's not on Rashad Ritchie. I'm not putting that on him. You know, Rashad Ritchie. Agree with him sometimes, disagree with him sometimes, but I'm not going to put that on Rashad Ritchie. That is definitely on TYT. And that's how the media spin things. They don't care about a black man getting killed by a black man. They need that white boogeyman for the story. I'm going to pull up a clip, another clip of Andre Fortz's death, right? This is from 11 Alive News. And I want to start the clip at this scene or at this point because, as you can see, <laughs> As you can see, before the clip starts, right? If you guys listen to the audio, let me explain to you. I'm saying, as you can see. Before you guys listen to the audio, let me explain how this clip starts. The clip starts with a talking point of Circle K 
fuel pop up, right? Circle K fuel day pop up where you could get 40 cents off of gas. 40 cents off of gas between the hours of 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. in 10 locations in Atlanta. So the story before Andre Fortson's story was about where you could find cheaper gas. That's how normalized that black men death is when it's by the hands of a black man. If your ingredients do not fit the criteria, it's not even the first story on the news. Where you can find cheaper gas is a story that trumps the story of a black man losing his life to a black man. So let's play this clip from 11 and Lies News. The clip after um, finding ways to get cheaper gas. Crazy. We are learning about a second victim in a deadly shooting that happened Wednesday in DeKalb County. DeKalb County police tells us a 27 year old man was also shot several times in the shooting there on Boulder Crest Road. We have also learned the 16 year old boy who died was Andre Fortson. We now know his older brother, senior airman Roger Fortson, lost his life after being shot by a deputy in Florida back in May. More grief added on to this family during an already difficult time. I don't know how my husband is going to get through this. I don't know how anybody would get through this. Um, I, I don't know. I, I pray for her peace. I've been praying for her peace since my little cousin Roger passed away. Um, but now I'm, I don't even have words. While the family asks for privacy, they do want to know how and why Andre was killed. We do know one person was arrested and booked into the DeKalb County Jail facing charges of aggravated assault with a weapon. We are working to confirm that person's identity. DeKalb Police is still investigating. So, you seen that? You heard that, man. Gas. Cheap gas was first to have a conversation about over the death of this black boy because it didn't fit the ingredients of what news wanted. I'm gonna give you guys another story, right? I'm gonna give you guys another story. Remember Bashad Brooks? Bashad Brooks was killed during the uh, protest for George Floyd in Atlanta, and he got killed at Wendy's and they burned the Wendy's down, right? Actually, we was by the Wendy's not too long ago, and it still burnt down. Like they didn't, they didn't re rebuild the Wendy's. But Rashad Brooks was killed at a Wendy's in Atlanta during that time. That was, you know, national headlines, national news, first story news. What if I was to tell you that Rashad Brooks' nephew was killed? You don't know that. You would not have known if Rashad Brooks' nephew was killed. From what I understand and the information that I gathered, Rashad Brooks' nephew was killed over a scooter. A scooter. This story did not have the ingredients of what a black man losing his life have to have for you to care about it. A scooter. We talked about Andre Fortson, who was killed because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean... I've could have been Andre Fortson. I've been in, I would say five different incidents where I was in the middle of somebody shooting, where I'm doing a little Kim, where I'm doing that, trying to get away five times, where I'm ducking behind cars, ducking behind buildings, just because I'm outside and somebody's shooting recklessly. I could have been Andre Fortson. It's common for these shootout for these shootings to happen. The crazy part about it, I've been in a mix of shootings in different states. It's not even, it's not even just because I lived in New York or I lived in Atlanta, California. I mean, I was in California one time and I'm doing a little camp in LA for work. So this is so common. This is so common. And not gonna lie, there's been a there's been one time a police officer drew a weapon on me. Right? 
one time. But how often are you doing a little Kim when you out, especially in major cities? Let me pull that video up of Rashad Brooks' nephew and how he lost his life over a scooter. Killed in Northwest Atlanta overnight. His family tells Fox 5 he is Rayshard Brooks' nephew. You'll remember Brooks' shooting death by an Atlanta police officer sparked days of protests in the summer of 2020. The teen's shooting happened along the 1000 block of Cato Street. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes is live at the crime scene with the latest tonight. Deidre? And responding officers discovering Jakari Brooks' body in this wooded area behind a house here at around 4.30 this morning. Now, they are saying very little about this case, but uh, his mother tells me that she was told that he was shot following a dispute over a scooter. Well, one second, I, I don't know what may have that would be my son. Star Dricka's Brooks' search for her 16-year-old son came to a tragic end in this northwest Atlanta neighborhood. Officers responding to a report of a person shot made the gruesome discovery in a wooded area behind this house on the 1000 block of Cato Street. Jakari Brooks had been shot and killed. The teen's family lives near the crime scene. His mother heard gunshots at around 11.30 Tuesday night, unaware her son was in trouble. It was like five o'clock, I heard it, literally, and I seen the, the police just riding back and forth up the other street, and I was like, they were riding. But you know, I didn't, because nobody called me and told me, anything, told me anything. Jakari's mother raced to the scene after her son's friend told her he'd been shot over a stolen scooter. The, the, the house right that way they went to the retrieving scooter, um, or still, whatever it was they were doing. Um, um, the people start shooting. The Brooks family is no stranger to tragedy. Jakari was Rayshard Brooks' nephew. Rayshard Brooks was shot and killed by APD officers during a traffic stop at a Wendy's restaurant on University Avenue in 2020, sparking days of citywide protests. Neighbors here told Fox 5 off camera they fear there will be more violence and retaliation for Wednesday's deadly shooting. Another so... Seeing that you heard that, thinking that's going to be retaliation, regular scheduled programming. And I want to also discuss this, right? Because we talk about the media's role. I'll give props to uh, Roland Martin on this one. <clears throat> there was a situation where an 11-year-old boy was shot by police. I have did a few videos on it. But the 11-year-old boy was shot by police by a black police officer who had black leadership, who lived in a black town. Shot in the chest by police, and the police officer is back on duty. It has to be the right ingredients for you to care about it. There was another situation in Dalton, right? Shout out to Tiffany Hinyard and her goons. There was another situation in Dalton where Alexis Wilson was killed by black police officers. Another one, if you want to keep going, if you want to know about Black cops getting off killing the black people. Kevin Matthews. Kevin Matthews was another man out in Michigan who was killed by police officers, right? From a uh, call, for like a wellness call. He was killed by police officers. And re that police officer, that black officer who killed Kevin Matthews was reinstated. You don't hear about that. But you hear about these other stories. How come? How come these stories are the one that's garnering the national attention? How come these stories get phone calls from Kamala Harris? How come these stories get Benjamin Crump on the case? But a black police officer do something? You don't even hear about it. The only time we heard about the black police officer was those five guys who beat that boy up in um in Memphis that was also through black leadership who was also terrorizing the community prior to this that's the only time you hear national news but a level your boy shot um Alexis Wilson um Kevin Matthews oh these cases that you don't hear about because the cop is black. But let it be a white cop. Five-part documentary on Netflix. Five-part documentary. 
on Netflix if the cop was white? How come black lives have to have the right ingredients in order for us to care about it? It has to be a white person, a white cop, in order us for us to have think pieces and conversations about it. And but Andre Fortson's situation happens 20 times a day on average. What are the leading reasons for death of black men? But if that don't have the right ingredients, nobody talks about it. Nobody bats an eye. It's not even the leading story on your news. They'd rather talk about where to find cheaper gas at 40 cents off before they talk about Andre Fortson. And the only reason why they're talking about Andre Fortson is because of his brother. The only reason why they talked about this young man because of Rashad Brooks. If these two men did not die by the hands of law enforcement prior to these deaths, we would not discuss them. We would not even discuss it. But something that happens on average, close to, oh, excuse me, 22 times a day is the leading cause of death, death of black men. That's okay. Nobody bats an eye. Nobody cares. Nobody's mentioning it. I get it, right? Police killing black men is the issue. I mean, there was a police killing not too far from me this week from a black man, from a police officer, right? Not too far from me. But as much as attention that needs to get, this also needs to get attention. It should be on the same level. We should have the same energy for our black people dying. We should have the same energy of two black women dying at a Juneteenth festival. 14 people getting shot at a Juneteenth festival. We should have the same energy of crash dummies who have Facebook beef, Instagram beef, TikTok beef, Twitter beef, whatever beef they're on, and decide they want to bring the guns to these, these areas. We should have that same conversation. But instead, is swept under the rug Regular scheduled programming, nobody cares about it, nobody discusses it to the point that uh, a media company would lie and say that a cop did it just to get more clicks, even though the video never said that. Let me know how you feel about this, man. Also, if you guys like this kind of content, please join the movement. You could join by becoming a member of the YouTube or becoming a member of the Patreon. I'll put links for that in the show notes. Also, I'll put links for my website brokentraditions.com where you see blogs you can buy merch you guys you can see the unbound hat with the bt on the side right i think that will i like the broken traditions on the side i had the bt logo on the other one but i like this one better so you know what it is right until broken traditions become a global icon and you see the logo you know what it is i think you should see the name first so i like you can buy hats like this on the website also you put your email in you get 10 percent off i might do a uh sale for the month of August because my wife's birthday is in August. So we might do that too, right? Appreciate you guys, man. I love you guys. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Tiffany, hear your voice. <laughs> love you guys, man. But let's have this conversation, man. And I understand a video like this may not hit the algorithm because of what it is. And I'm not going to lie on titles. But if you guys see this, you feel the sentiments, share this video, have a conversation, share this audio, have the conversation because this is something that needs to be discussed need to be discussed that the media will lie the media won't push it the media don't care and we have to be independent and have these stories talked about amongst ourselves we don't need their permission to put out content about this and we also need to shame and shun these people who are doing these killings in these in these neighborhoods who are destroying the lives of everybody in the area from Andre Fortson from 16 year old or from a baby hit by a drive by or from a lady at a Juneteenth festival. These killings should not happen. And we need to disgrace the people that's doing this in our communities. All right, man, till next time, peace. Real rap, Ron is signing off. All right, later, one.